Hi, I'm Doyen Storser, CPGA golf professional at the Redwoods Golf Course in Langley, British Columbia. Uh, today we want to give you guys uh, a few pointers on practice. Uh, practice is obviously really important in the, in the golf game. A um, couple things to think about when you're practicing. When you're out on the golf course, just about half of your strokes will come on or around the putting green. Uh, therefore, I think it's important that half of your practice time should be spent on or around the putting green. So instead of just coming down to the range and hitting balls all the time, uh, you should try and, uh, and work chipping and putting into your, into your practice routine. A good thing with putting is you can practice putting just about anywhere. Uh, in your living room, on the carpet, anywhere you can, you can get a chance to work on your stroke. So that leaves when you come down to the driving range. When you come down to the driving range, it's really important that you come down and practice with a purpose. Instead of just coming down and mindlessly hitting balls, you want to have a goal or a aim that you're going to work on. There's two main types of practicing that, that we can do. Uh, first is called block practice. What block practice is, is when you take the same club and just repeat your swing over and over and over again. This is effective if you're trying to work on a, on a change in your golf swing. Um, so say you're, you're working on hand position and then you just grab the club and you just repeat your swing over and over and over again. This is good for changing parts of your golf swing, but it doesn't really apply to us on the golf course. So the other type of practice is called random practicing. This more mimics what happens on the golf course. When you do random practice, what you're doing is you're going to hit a ball, grab a different club, hit a ball, grab a different club, hit a ball, grab a different club. This way you're always changing the club that you're hitting. This works more with, uh, with what you do on the golf course. So a good game that I like to do when I'm, when I'm down here playing uh, on the driving range is I'll actually play the course that I play the most. I play the Redwoods quite a bit, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to play the Redwoods on the driving range. I know when I'm playing the Redwoods on the first hole, I had a driver. So what I'll do is I'll grab a ball and I'll hit my drive. If I hit it fairly well, I know that for my approach shot I usually have an 8-iron. So for my second shot, I'll grab an 8-iron. It's important that you pick a target. So if I was going to pick a target out there, that's my green. I make my swing, if I hit it well, land close to my target, then I know I would get a par on that hole, I'd go on to the next hole. If I hit a bad shot, I don't hit the green, then you want to practice your chipping. So I would then grab my wedge and I'd practice my chipping stroke. This is what you do on the golf course, so this way you're going to be practicing for when you play out on the golf course in the summer. Uh, really good idea to, to knock a few strokes off your game. So once again, practicing is really important. Winter is a great time to do some practicing. Uh, here at the Redwoods, our hours are seven days a week, 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. We have 10 heated stalls, so even if the weather is not too great outside, uh, you should still be able to come down and get some practice time in. Thanks, guys.